Welcome to BBC Top Gear India 2.0. This is the first car that we are test driving. The all new Q8 from the Audi. This is a flagship SUV. While we can't wait to hit it on the tarmac and take it through the course, what you can do is like, share and subscribe. And of course, you can leave your comments below. We'd love to hear about it. And uh, let's see what this car is all about. This is the flagship model from the Audi and under the new design head, Mark Lichter, is his first baby. This has been on the works for quite some time and uh, what we see is quite nice because that in terms of design, it has really taken big notches up. The biggest difference is that you, it's not the same, you know. The Q3, Q5 and Q7, if you see from the, from the front, they all look the same. Unless you go at the rear and see the logo, it's very hard to dis distinguish. Of course, the size, etc. is different. But Q8, from like a kilometer ahead, you can spot the difference. The tail light, the headlight, the, the contour features, the way it's been shaped, it's, it's totally different. The only thing is just that it's, a, it's an SUV coupe, so people at the rear will have some issues. It's not meant for a big group of people. It's meant for four comfortable people, very comfortable seating. So let me take you around the infotainment system of the Audi. Let's start from there. Dual display, the piano finish, the design is absolutely spec. When I type on the navigation button, and if I do a search, I get two options. I can either punch in, which is haptic key keypad, so which is good. You have to press a little hard, or you can just draw. So drawing would take some time, Five, because if it's a left-hand driven car, like in European cars, it make, makes sense. But for India, I think it's, you have to, unless you're a lefty, you can do with this. Another problem with the piano finish is it looks very nice, but unless you are Jason Staten and you are wearing your gloves and driving the Audi, it will always leave you a lot of marks behind. As you can see right now, I've been driving it since morning and a lot of scratches of the hand which has come up. In terms of Bluetooth connectivity, it's very easy to connect, as I said. Settings, messages, you can connect your phone, the temperatures can be man maintained, the seats can be maintained, the blower can be maintained both ways, so which is good. Let's see the rear side and let's see how the space is in the car. So, it's very comfortable. It's a very comfortable seating. The seats can also go back like this. And only problem is the person in the middle will have to squeeze in because there is this transmission uh, bump here which takes space. Climate controls are all there. There's a USB charging socket here. So I think everybody behind seat, your kids, your family will be very happy because you could charge your phones always. I don't like this because this gives a very, this gives a very, not that premium look because I'm sure after putting magazines or iPads, this will tend to sag, which I'm sure this will happen with course of time. Let's see the rear. I love the design once again. Now, the boot is not very big. If you fold the seats, it has a huge capacity. But if you have to ask me, if you have to put two, bag big, two big bags, it won't fit in. If the bag is standing, it'll hit the uh, roof here. And, uh, but yeah, it's comfortable for one pack to slide in like this. You can stack one up the other. And this is very nice. You can just pull it here, leave something on the top of it and carry it from there or just leave it behind. So, it's got a spare wheel, which is very nice. Of course, these are the Q8 thing which has come with the car. And it's neatly packed in here. And there are these side boxes here. And there's a 12 volt, so maybe it's for the fridge. You can keep a fridge here for outing, etc. And you can charge it from there, which is nice. Again, this has got another tray here, where again, you can keep something here. Yeah, that's about it. And there are these two lights here, which is very interesting because I assume in you in the park in the night if you're going, these lights will be of some use to you. This is what I was telling you about. If I go to park it like this, it'll never stand. Even if it's half the size of the bag, it won't still stick. You have to always keep your luggage like this. Because the moment you keep your luggage like this standing, it'll hit. That's when the full SUV comes in the picture. But with coupe, no, you can't do that. So you have to live with that. This car can do 0 to 105.7 seconds. You need to check out the engine to us to know. While you can see the specs below, with one lever you can go up. This is the working engine. The engine is on right now, and while the engine is on, 
There is not much noise. It's a V6 petrol turbocharged engine. This is a beautiful beast of Audi. It is an exclusive car. It's not meant for everybody. I am Ramesh Somani, signing off from BBC Top Gear in our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and press the bell icon. We have many more videos coming up. Stay tuned.